Greetings, humans. Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of A Long Dark Winter Meet. Thanks for joining me. Well, as you can see, we've got a whole lot of stuff here. We're at 89. Could definitely use some food and water. big box and get all dried out. Are we out of water? We seem to be out of water. Well, that did help a wee bit. It's still very early in the morning. We could probably Make a fire. Yeah, let's do this. Let's uh, crank it up a little bit. Alright, so we've got almost three hours on there. Now I think I stored a ton of stuff in here. So, don't need any of that. It's all fire making stuff. Don't need that spare. Don't need the work boots. Oh, oh yeah, we can just leave the hammer here. So. So what we're going to do today is we're going to head back and check in with our friend, the Trapper. Go help him out. See, I don't think we're leaving anything good behind. Sitting a bunch of wood. Not carrying a bunch of extra stuff around. But let's drop them. Ah, yes. So I think these are bits. So 3, 3, 40. Yeah, let's equip those. Very nice mitts. Now the army jacket. Oh yeah, there's wolves about. Um, actually socks. Let's pick them up. Let's break them down. A-OK. 
clip right out, which is good. Let's go ahead and take a torch. What we're going to do is we are going to, we're here, we're going to have the wall look for that cache. about completely eliminating this area. Really just gonna try to get a move on. It's really useful though. This one here, because I think there's a uh, weak ice. That's in the last long. Um, yeah, I think we can actually. too much. Almost where the lake ends, it starts hooking around. Keep an eye out for that. Jay, right now we just want to make it to the zone and get back. I don't need to mess around too much. Are a bit overburdened, so we can't sprint. We're pretty close. If we dropped a couple of things, we could sprint, but I'm just gonna again play it safe and just try to make it back.
Alright, nothing hanging out in here. Can't read it though. Huh. We will just keep an eye out for it. Not uh, just an ankle. So I would guess it's right by this big rock here. We will see. Seriously. Mm. Are we out of painkillers? hiding somewhere right around this rock. We will see. We'll check it out. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Long wool scarf. Six one point eight, two point three one point five, two point three one point five. And you over here, pair it up. It'll be worth it. So we do eventually want to make it over to the train tracks. Lots of caves. Mas Cuevas.
Yes, deer means no wolves. Dark fur for needed. So there's where it gets dicey. Really don't want to risk falling through the icy. And you should be able to do that. Like if a deer can stand there, this dice should be safe. In my humble opinion. I think we might be able to get over to the train tracks here. We'll see soon enough. Really hope we don't get dead ended. The hunter's blind. So I think we can get across here. Get to the train tracks. That may sound bad. Head towards the wrong end of the zone. Alright, that does seem to be the caboose though.
I'm honestly on edge as we do this little walk. Just really afraid that there's going to be one of those guys. Another wolf right there. I don't know where he is. that on the replay. I thought I hit him for sure. Apparently not. Alright, let's please not gather anything. Be the one I injured. Even flinch on that. empty. Wish I had scatter arrow like Hanzo. I could just shoot at their feet and one shot them. Bears, wolves, everything. Scatter! Doing my funky dance, my funky funky dance. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's get to the trapper.
not in the mood for wolves. Not one bit. Let's see if we can go all the way down here and then cut across. So run this deer ahead of us. Monsters. Getting closer. It'll be a minute. We'll make it. I think we can go all the way up here. Better safe than dead. It's so funny in the uh, sandbox game when there's no NPCs, there's a uh, smoke coming out of the chimney of the trapper's cabin. Now in the game where there's actually someone in there, there's no smoke. Interesting. And here we are. Venus. All right, let's see what he has to say. <laughs> well. You look like hell, Mackenzie. Thanks. I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I see you're an interior design critic now. You fixed my rifle? Yep. Found one of my own, too. Damn, not bad for a pilot. You're full of surprises. Maybe you can make it after all. Now what? I really need to get going. My friend is out there, and with all this wildlife on the loose... Whoa. Slow down. A rifle will get you out of a jam, but survival's about what you know. And right now, you don't know shit. What do you suggest? Books on tape? <laughs> Smartass. No. What I suggest is Jeremiah's survival school. Student population, one. Let's see if we can keep you alive long enough to graduate. <laughs> that was a weird camera pan. Let's talk about some survival skills. 
What do you want to tackle? Mm. Clothing. What do I need to know about clothing? It's damn cold out there, right? What you wear might make the difference between life and death. I'm listening. Winter wet will kill you if you let it. Wear wind blocking clothes on your outside layer if you can and use natural shelter whenever possible. Wind will drop your core temperature quickly and before you know it you'll have hypothermia or worse. And about wetness. That one's obvious. You get wet from snowfall, falling through ice, whatever. In these winters, you get frostbite in no time. Wear waterproof clothing if you can, especially on your feet. If you get your clothes wet, dry them out by fire. Is that it? Almost. Think about carrying weight. The heavier your clothing, the less food and other supplies you can carry without getting tired. And remember, you want some tough layers to protect you from falls and animals, especially these days. It all makes sense? Great. Remember, though, it's not enough to have good gear. If you don't take care of it, needle and thread are your friends. Keep your clothing in good shape, and it'll take care of you. Sacrifice any crappy gear you find to keep your better gear in action. Got it. Good, now prove it. Take this old park on mine. There's an old lookout tower just off the railway. Usually some forestry service gear in there. Use their supplies to repair my old parka. I'm telling you, I understand about taking care of gear. The only way to know it is to do it, Mackenzie. Now get out of here. Yes. Alright, I'll be back with your damn coat. Good as new. That's the spirit. All right. Um, let's go story. I really don't have time for this right now. Look, you don't have a choice, pal. I've got this far without you, Trapper. Got with a blood hungry bear on your ass, you haven't. Trust me, Mackenzie. You really want to find your friend? There's miles of well mission in all directions from here. You'll never make it. I'm listening. I'll teach you what you need to know, and then. You'll have, something for me. You'll have to do something for me. Kill the bear? That part goes without saying. You gotta kill the bear. We, neither of us, get out of here alive. Lights? Do you see the lights in the sky again? Yeah, I can barely sleep. It was so bright. There's something different about them, not like the usual Aurora Borealis. The lights, the Aurora, seem to power things up. Lights mainly. You sure? I didn't see anything like that. You have anything electrical in here? Nope. I'm off the grid for a reason. What reason is that? None of your business. The wolf seems scared of the light. Scared of the aurora. No lights. Like, lights are in buildings. They avoided the lights. You sure you haven't been into that morphine pilot? Never mind. Okay. Let's talk about some survival skills. So it takes focus. We'll continue when you're done with your current lesson. Uh huh. When I was out there, I came across mention of forest talkers. You know anything about that? Oh yeah, I know about the talkers. What are they? Some kind of band or cult? Nothing like that. Eco activists, terrorists, some call them. They've been fighting for years against further exploitations of great bear. So are they dangerous? Not usually. They'll spike the occasional tree, tie themselves to logging or mining equipment in protest. Don't think they've ever hurt anybody, but I'm not really up to date on current events. So, terrorists or activists, which is it? Depends on your perspective, I guess. I try to stay out of politics. One thing's for sure, I've been doing a lot more than just talking lately. What do you mean? A few nights ago, I heard a lot of uh, shooting coming from the other side of the lake. Could have been hunters, I guess, but they usually aren't at this time of year. I think it was the forest stalkers. No idea. For their sake, I hope they got the hell out of the area before things got shut down. It won't be good for them. With old bear out there, and angry. Sure are a lot of wolves around here. Didn't uh, used to be that way. I told you before, something's stirring them up. Maybe a bear's not the biggest of our worries. You just stay focused on what I'm telling you. Watch out for the old bear. He's cunning as hell. Make a wolf look like a damn lap dog. Right. Wolves, they hate fire. Like most wildlife. Campfire will keep them away from you at night most of the time. Provide a torch if you have to. The flare will work too. You know, one of those emergency ones for road accidents. 
Sometimes if you get lucky, even a stone to the head will scare them off. If you don't have any of those things, uh, then you wait till they're close and hit them with uh, anything you can. Knife, hammer, hatchet, or your damn hands. And you don't stop hitting until one of you's dead. There's a theme here, isn't it? Yep, this is it. Fight if you want to live. It's more Hobbes and Darwin. What? Forget it. He's a philosopher. At some point, I'm going to need to get out of here and find my friend. Only way, one way for you to go, pilot, and that is... When it gets to Perseverance Mills, you got to pass through the guts of that dam. Didn't seem possible when I was in there. The whole place seemed locked down. The parts weren't falling down anyway. That may be, but it's still the only way to get to where you need to go. Come on, tell me more. No, until I'm sure you can make it. Make it where? Through the dam? The dam and beyond. Alright. I heard a phone ring in the, uh, an old hunting lodge where I found the extra rifle. You know anything about that? Nah, but it makes sense. How so? Old phone lines don't depend on power like the new systems do. It's one of the many ways the old infrastructure is better than what we have now. Right. I'm serious. Everything's so integrated now, so linked. It's a hassle car. It's one system fails, they all fail. Any idea where the call could have come from? Old analog system could still work. No telling how the lines are set up. Call could be from anywhere. A great bear, really. If you know what the lines and switches connect to, you could probably figure it out. We're going to find that out. This old analog lines, but nobody even knows they're still hooked up. You need an old phone company line map. No idea where you could find one, though. Must be archived somewhere. Keep it in mind. The old ways are the new ways again. Better get going. Right, let's check our trust. Mm -hmm. Current trust, 99. What can we give him? Not a whole lot. Now trust you more zero. Okay. Alright, that is going to be where I have to end this episode. I hope you're having some fun. I certainly am. If you enjoy the long dark and would like to see more of this channel, it does help me out a whole lot when you like the videos that you watch. Subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and I hope that you join me next time. That is going to be all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.